Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you you all are well. Welcome back to another interesting session of tenth biology about heart. In the previous class, we discussed about the structure of the heart, about blood vessels like artery and veins, and we discussed about the discovery of the capillaries and discovery of the valves in veins in this video i brought very interesting topic that happens in the awesome body of us that is nothing but a cardiac cycle what is cardiac cycle cardiac cycle i think but the contraction and relaxation of atrium means auricles and ventricles is called one cardiac cycle repetition of this is called cardiac cycle are you clear one contraction and relaxation of auricles and ventricles is called one cardiac cycle repetition of this process is called cardiac cycle that's it number of the students as well as some people they are confusing and they misunderstand about cardiac cycle they thought that the contraction of the auricle and the contraction of the ventricle takes place at a time that means for example if we imagine my hand my hand as a heart they thought that that auricle and ventricle present in this heart these four chambers are contract at the same time and uh, relax at the same time is it correct not at all the contraction and relaxation of auricles and ventricles not takes place same time then how happens let's understand so before going to discuss about this topic let's label the parts of this heart if you know draw this, this picture in your book and label it along with me okay okay so what is the parts what are the chambers at here yes there are four chambers upper two chambers are called auricles so it is a right side so it is right auricle it is left auricle so label it is right i am writing the shortcut form right auricle and it is what about it it is a left auricle that's correct then it is right ventricle and what about it it is a left ventricle are you labeling yes label with me then look at this picture <coughs> so one of the vein at here what is this vein yes it is a inferior vein cava it is a inferior vein cava what about this one yes it is superior vein cava superior vein cava you should write in the full form way i am writing the shortcut way okay don't write like this next one so this is superior vein cava that's fine then what about these two and these two vessels yes these two and these two vessels are pulmonary veins they brought oxygenated blood from the lungs so these two are pulmonary veins so these two and these two are pulmonary veins so it is also pv pulmonary vein it is also pv pulmonary vein it is also pv pulmonary vein okay finished next one look at here there is a very huge vessel biggest vessel what is that vessel as yes, you are correct that is nothing but a aorta or systemic aorta so it is a aorta the biggest vessel next one look at this two what are this two so this vessel branched one to this side one to this side what is this as yes, nothing but a 
pulmonary artery that connected to the lungs to carry dioxide to that so it is pulmonary artery pa pa so it is pulmonary pulmonary artery is there another parts is there another parts yes all parts are completed yeah i have forgot one more thing look at here valves so it is tricuspid valve tv not your television it's tv tricuspid valve and it is bv bicuspid valve clear so labeling of the heart finished let's start about cardiac cycle what is cardiac cycle yeah, as i said in the before contraction one contraction one relaxation of auricles and ventricles is called one cardiac cycle repetition of this cardiac cycle uh, one cardiac cycle is called cardiac cycle okay okay look at here dear students as i said in the before auricles upper auricles and lower ventricles are not contracted the same how that process takes place just assume just imagine the heart is resting position so there is no contraction just imagine so it is the starting stage so heart is resting position it is relaxing state when heart is resting position what will happen automatically the auricles look at here this is auricle this is auricle both auricles are filled with blood are clear if you imagine heart is in the rest position then both auricles are what will happen fill with blood which blood look at here i label it a blue color so this blue color indicates deoxygenated blood impure blood means where i applied blue color at here in the right auricle means if you imagine heart in resting position in relaxing position the right auricle filled with which blood yes deoxygenated blood so what is the blood present in the right auricle deoxygenated blood are clear then what about left auricle so i labeled with the white color look at here i label with white color so this white color shade indicates pure blood oxygenated blood so like a left auricle filled with pure blood oxygenated blood are clear so when heart is relaxing state right auricle filled with uh, deoxygenated blood and left auricle filled with oxygenated blood okay how that blood comes to these two chambers who will bring it look at here if you observe there are inferior vein cava and there are superior vein cava it is inferior vein cava it is a superior vein cava this inferior vein cava this superior vein cava brings deoxygenated blood to the right auricle superior vein cava brought deoxygenated blood from the upper parts and inferior vein cava brought deoxygenated blood from the lower parts of the body are clear yes so that's why this chamber filled with deoxygenated blood these two vessels are connected or open into the right auricle so right auricle filled with deoxygenated blood are clear then come to this point so as i said left auricle filled with which blood yes oxygenated blood how oxygenated blood came to this chamber who brought you no who look at here there are pulmonary vein these two are pulmonary veins and uh, these two also pulmonary veins one is from the right lung uh, uh, these two are from the left lung so oxygenated blood what is present in the left auricle carried by the pulmonary veins so this pulmonary veins carries oxygenated blood from the right lung and this pulmonary veins carries 
oxidated blood from the left leg that's why this left auricle is filled with a oxidated blood are you clear okay fine now i will take a step forward now auricles are contract just imagine now auricles are contract when auricles are contract what will happen the for example if you take a balloon if you fill water in the balloon if squeeze it what will happen the water presents inside of the balloon try to come outside with force like that when these two auricles are try to contract immediately the deoxygenated blood the deoxygenated blood present in the right auricle comes to right ventricle comes to right ventricle are you clear through the tricuspid valve are you clear so what happened at here same process takes place what will happen oxygenated blood present in the left auricle squeezed into the left ventricle through the bicuspid valve are you clear yes you know already these is two are in the con contraction stage these two are start relaxing these two are start relaxing while these two are start relaxing simultaneously these two chambers are start contraction when these two are contraction what will happen yes the blood try to goes again into the these two chambers say sir now because they are relaxed at the same time they are starting contraction when they are contracting when they are squeezing the blood the blood moves up again is it possible is it happens at there no not at all it ha not happens how because when the deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle try to goes back automatically tricuspid valve close when the tricuspid valve close there is no chance to enter into the right auricle at the same way when this left ventricle contraction then the blood try to move to the left auricle then the bicuspid valve closes then there is no entrance the backward flow of the blood then what happened while they are contracting look at here one vessel is connected to the at here what is this vessel look at here what is this vessel this vessel nothing but a pa pulmonary artery so when the right ventricle is contract the deoxygenated blood squeezed or pushed into the a vessel that is vessel nothing but a pulmonary vessel that is pulmonary artery so this pulmonary artery carries blood from the right ventricle to the lungs for the oxidification of the blood are you clear at the same time when this left ventricle contract with oxygenated blood due to the contraction of this blood some pressure is produced due to that pressure the blood flows into the a biggest artery that is aorta so by contraction of this left ventricle the oxygenated blood present in the left ventricle goes to the systemic aorta biggest artery so this systemic aorta divided into small small branches arteries arterioles then these arterioles connected to the tissue so the blood supply to the each and every cell of the body like the contraction relaxation takes place in the heart are you clear i hope you clear yes shall we go to next step okay dear students this happens so from this explanation what do what do you understand yes the contraction and relaxation of the auricle and ventricle not takes place at the same time when auricles are contract ventricle relax when ventricle contracts auricles relax so at here squeezed at here relax 
at here uh, squeeze at here relax so like that the heart is squeezed in different ways it's fine but how the sound lub dub comes from where does that sound come who create the sound i will explain look at here dear students heart gives two sounds that is lub it's very sharp sound and dub it is very dull sound says or no lub it is very sharp sound loudy sound dub it is very dull sound so how the sharp and dull sounds creates produced in the heart look at here dear students when auricles are contract as i said in the before then the blood present in this auricles squeezed into the ventricles what will happen automatically ventricles start contraction at the same time auricles start relaxation so when the auricles start contraction the blood present in the auric uh, ventricles try to go up immediately the gates what are the gates at here tricuspid valve and bicuspid valve this tricuspid valve and bicuspid valve closes with a force if you close the door for example uh, if we push the door of our house what will happen automatically sound produced say sir no like that when the ventricles are start contraction the blood blood present in these ventricles goes back so to stop that flow these valves are closed with a force due to that force they produce sound sharp sound that is lump they will ask question which valves produce lump sound bicuspid valve bicuspid valve why tricuspid valve and bicuspid valve produce sound because while the blood try to goes back to the auricles the valves present between the auricles and ventricles closed with a force that's why it produce sound it's enough are you clear so like that the sharp sound produces what about dull sound look at here dear students when these auricle contraction is completed later what will happen they start relaxing say sir no when they start relaxing the blood what pushed into the vessels so the deoxygenated blood present in this ventricle goes to the this vessel as well as the oxygenated blood present in this ventricle goes to the aorta so while they are start relaxing the blood present in this vessels try to come back try to come back while this blood is try to come back into the ventricles from these two vessels what is that two vessels it is a pulmonary artery it is a systemic aorta or biggest artery so while the blood trying to come back look at here this pulmonary artery and this systemic aorta also have valves at here valves at here these valves closes to stop flow of blood in the backward movement so due to that closing of these valves it produce a dull sound that is dub so what are the names of these valves we know the valves present in the present between the these two and these two tricuspid valve and bicuspid valve what about the valves names of this so this valve is nothing but a pulmonary wow what is pulmonary valve pulmonary valve nothing but a the valve present between the valve present between pulmonary artery pulmonary artery and right ventricle what about this valve this valve nothing but a systemic valve systemic 
systemic wall so where it is located so systemic wall located between aorta and what is this left ventricle left ventricle so in this way the sound lap job lap job produced while our heart contract and relaxation this is about cardiac cycle are you clear dear students okay dear students until now we are discussed about cardiac cycle do you know the contraction of the heart whatever it may be maybe auricles or ventricles so the contraction of the auricles or ventricles is called systole what is that called systole so when auricles or ventricles contract some pressure is produced that pressure is called systolic pressure systolic pressure so the time taken to the contraction of the auricle to the contraction of the auricle is 0 0.11 to 0.14 seconds this time taken to contraction of the auricle and at the same time contraction of the ventricles it take approximately 0 0.27 to 0 0.35 seconds to contraction of the ventricle so then relaxation relaxation the relaxation of heart is called diastole so when the heart is relaxed i mean auricles or ventricles are relaxed the droppage of the pressure is called diastolic pressure diastolic pressure so this contraction and relaxation of the heart takes place the time in the period of time approximately 0 0.8 seconds so the systole and diastole to complete this systole and diastole what is the time taken 0 0.8 seconds so these are the time periods like this the heart beat 72 times per year minute if you observe your pulse the pulse rate equal to your heartbeat so the pulse rate equal to our heartbeat if you observe bp so there is a reading 120 by 80 hg so this 120 indicates systolic pressure more pressure 120 and this 80 indicates diastolic pressure we will learn more about in the topic blood pressure so this is today's class i hope you understand if you have any doubts just comment in the comment section if you like this video share subscribe thanks for watching keep smiling